the Memorial Center of Sachsenhausen tells the story of one of the biggest concentration camps on German territory from 1936 to 1945. It was a model camp for the SS in absolute proximity of the capital and that's also why it enjoyed a special status. Over the years, more than 200,000 people have been interned in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp between the years of 1936 to 1945. The special thing about this memorial site is that on the same campsite there was first a Nazi concentration camp and then also a forced labor camp of the Russians, special camp number seven. In the beginning of 1945, there were around 80,000 people incarcerated in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp and its satellites. It was perceived by the SS as an ideal concentration camp following the worldview of the SS and intended to subject the internees to the absolute power of the SS, symbolically and also in reality. The biggest groups of internees were people which, uh, who the Nazis saw as racially inferior, like Jews, uh, Sinti and Roma, as well as opponents of the Nazi regime, homosexuals and criminals. Death and killing were ever present in the camp. Contained four crematorium ovens, a gas chamber and a firing squad area, and was blown up by the KVP of the GDR, the DDR, in 1942. When the Red Army reached the Oder River, the camp should be evacuated. Some few thousand people have been shot, and around 30,000 people brought to a death march in the northwest direction of the camp. By constructing uh, the memorial in 1961, Architects consolidated the foundations and the remains of the oven and erected a huge monumental roof about it. Initially, the inmates or the majority of the inmates were mostly German citizens, but after the outbreak of the Second World War, tens of thousands of people were deported from occupied areas to Sachsenhausen concentration camp. That included opponents from the Nazi governments of occupied areas, members of governments from the collaborating governments, allied prisoners of war and more. Throughout uh, World War II, it mainly held political prisoners, amongst them also prominent prisoners, uh, for example, Joseph uh, Stalin's eldest son, Jakov Chugashvili, Assassin Herschel Grünspan, Paul Renault, the penultimate Prime Minister of France, Francisco Largo Caballero, Prime Minister of the Second Spanish Republic, and the wife and children of the Crown Prince of Bavaria, and some more. In 1944, around 90% of the prisoners were foreigners. Initially, the inmates were forced to work in workshops and factories, owned by the SS in the camp's industrial yard. From later on, internees were forced to build the world's largest brickworks, not far from the Lenitz lock near Oranienburg, to supply building material to the capital Berlin. Tens of thousands of victims have died in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp as a result of hunger, disease, forced labor, medical experiments and mistreatment, or systematic killing. After World War II, when Oranienburg was in the Soviet occupation zone, the structure was used by the NKVD as Special Camp No. 7. In the time from August 1945 to 1950, in the camp were held Nazi functioners, political prisoners and inmates sentenced by the Soviet military tribunals. In this time, almost all buildings from the concentration camp were used again, except the gas chamber and extermination facilities. 45, the camp was almost fully occupied with prisoners. 
By 1948, the camp was named now Special Camp No. 1 and was the largest camp of its kind in the Soviet-occupied zone. The 60,000 people who have been interned there over the course of five years until 1950 were ex-Nazis, Nazi collaborators, as well as anti-communists and anti-Soviet people. Amongst them, at least 12,000 died of malnutrition and disease. <laughs>